But here it is, it's six and a half minute masterpiece. It even features a cameo from the real actor rapper Ice T. Ice T, the real right. Ice T, is in this. So without further ado, I give you perhaps for the final time, Rocky Pendergast in space calling Kathy. You know, I am an ageless octogenarian in fashion Easter with a can do attitude. Let's see who's calling. Hello. Hello. Kathy, 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 my dear. Hello, who am I talking to? It's Rocky Pendergast, darling. How are you? I, I am fine. How are you? Oh, I'm in ecstasy. <laughs> You'll never guess where I'm calling you from, darling. Give me a hint. I'm hosting the most out-of-this-world shindig on... Wait for it. All right, where are you calling from? The International Space Station. And where is that? Space. Space. It's in space, my darling. Huh. I'm calling you from a party in space. You are some... What are you doing up in space? I won't bore you with all the details, darling, but suffice it to say, we just had it with all that stuffy social distancing back on Earth. You seem to lead an exciting life, my goodness. Oh, it's one small step for mankind, Kathy, and one giant leap for longer, baby. <laughs> oh, you're something else. But I have to tell you, Kathy, the stars outside are nothing compared to the stars I see around me. Why, just to my left, there's Jonathan Lipnicki. And human head weighs eight pounds. Ooh. Dame Edna. Hello. Can you believe this? Recently deceased children's author Beverly Cleary. Oh, Beverly. Rumor Willis. Amazing. Debbie Gibson. Paramount leader of the People's Republic of China, Xi Jinping. Hola. Shoto. Oh, oh, yes. I love you. Which of their shots? I love this. Linda Hamilton. I am Linda Hamilton. Hello. George Hamilton. Linda and George. The cast of Hamilton. Alexander Hamilton. Jubilant. And here he is, our guest of honor, Grammy Award-winning rapper, actor, songwriter, and producer, the inimitable Ice T. Oh. Hey, Kathy, how you doing, sweetheart? Well, I am absolutely delicious. Now, the voice sounds very familiar. This is Ice T. You probably know me from Law and Order. Ice T. Oh, my goodness. You're kidding. Well, you're lucky I'm not a real cop because it's a crime that you're not up here with us. Oh, my bags are packed. Hey, Rocky. Yeah? You really outdid yourself, man. This party is off the... Uh, uh, What's wrong? Uh, uh, something don't feel right in my stomach. Uh, I told them not to serve American caviar. How embarrassing. Oh, oh my. I feel something moving. I hope he's okay. I Something is eating through my chest. Rocky? Lord, help us. It's an alien. Alien? Yes, an alien just burst out of ice. Teeth, chest. What? Dear God, it's growing, Kathy. Oh, my God. You know bees and dogs get smoked here? Oh. It just ate former child star Jonathan Lipnicki. What? Quick. Go. Linda Hamilton, hand me that flamethrower. I'm throwing this one to you. Please move. Hey, ah. Oh, be careful. Die, die, die. Oh, my. Oh, God, it escaped into the vents. What? I must do something. Barricade yourself in a room and shut the door. I'll have to blow up the ship. You cannot. But I must, Kathy. How are you going to live? Mother, activate self-destruct sequence immediately. Danger. <gasps> Danger. The emergency destruct system is now activated. Oh. The ship will detonate in minus all right, Kathy. Come on. I'm moving to the escape pods. It's up to you. Oh, God. My motion sensor's picking up something, Kathy. Now, where is it? Oh, I don't know. It's getting closer. Snap out of it. Dear God, it's right in front of me, Kathy. Go. Hola, everybody. Oh, <gasps> thank God, Kathy. It wasn't the alien. It was only well. Charo. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> The alien just came out of the vent and decapitated Charo. What? Hang on, Kathy. I'm going to blow this bastard out of the airlock. You can't. No one kills Ice T, Jonathan Lipnicki, and Charo and gets away with it. Froggy? Everything's getting sucked 
out to the vacuum of space. Oh, my. I'm holding on for dear life. Be careful. Oh, no, the alien's holding on too, Kathy. Oh. Oh, God, it's gnashing at me with its little razor-lined mouth. Oh, my goodness. Oh, what luck. I grabbed onto Charo's severed head before it blew away. Oh, man. I'm going to throw it at the bastard. It worked. Charo's head dislodged the carnivorous star beast. It's floating away into the vacuum of space. Hoorah! Amazing. Kathy. Rocky. The ship's about to blow. It's exploding. I can't hold on much longer. Jump. If we never meet again, let me just say it's been an honor and a privilege calling into your show all these years. Oh, my dear. You've been a great sport, a wonderful friend. And Kathy, darling. Rocky. We'll always Three, have... Two, jump. One. Lago. Hello? 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 I got dead air. Okay. I don't, uh, I don't know what happened. I just love to hear from him. He is just so exciting. Well, I hope he's okay. Let's all okay. say prayers. You're listening to Live with Kathy, the voice of inspiration and encouragement. He he just got sucked. I think he really bought it. (laughs) Yeah, but how could she buy that? He got killed by Hitler (laughs) last time. Anyway, I know, six and a half minute phony phone call. and, And by the way. Director Zack Snyder is putting out an eight-minute version of that call. He's going <laughs> to do the director's cut. 